you working on now? The brake band? Uh -huh. So this is the brake band. for the. It's got drum brake on it. We're going to leave that on there until we upgrade it to a disc. So it's a drum brake. So you got a bolt with a nut, and then there was another nut that held it to the frame. So Allison is taking the nut off. See, this is the throttle cable here. This one here is the brake band. So go ahead and keep going. This is the new. This is the new brake band. New brake band. So once you get that one off, we'll, we'll get that and ready to go back on. Is it finger tight now? Finger, tight. Finger tight. Finger loose. Finger tight. All right. Lay that nut right here. Now look. This brake band has got a retainer. So does this one. So let's open this up. Scoot around there so you don't block the camera. There you go. Now look here. So this one goes just like this. Okay. So what we're going to do is slide this one off. See how I kind of work it back and forth? Mm -hmm. Kind of work it back and forth like that. Alright, so there's that one off. Take this. That's just a long screw. Clean it up a little bit here. Where's your glasses at? The gray ones or black ones? Mm, gray. Glasses on. I'm gonna use this wire brush for a second. This bolt looks good, mm -hmm. so we're gonna reuse it, but I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. All right, see what I did there? Make nice and shiny. Yep. All right, now slide this back on there, just like that. You have to work it back and forth. All right, now put that okay. nut on right here. And look at it. See how it's got a flat side and it's got a crown side and you want the flat side to be against that. Okay. okay. So go ahead and start it back on there. Alright, so now we're going to clean up the drum that the band, the brake drum because it's all rusty. Put your little pressure down on it. There you go. Alright, now let me hold it and you spin it. Go ahead. Get her spinning. Spin her good. See all that rust falling off down there? Mm -hmm. Keep going. Get her going good, then I'll put it down on it. <laughs> you don't want to use any WD 40 on this because you don't want it to be slick. All right, let's see what you got. Here's that rag. Spin it a little bit more. It's good. Better. Keep going. It's better. Yeah, well, it looks a lot better. Mm -hmm. It's pitted a little bit. Just from the rust. Mm -hmm. But it'll be okay. It looks better. Yeah, it looks it looks a lot better. And look at that pile of rust on the ground. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. Oh, see that pile of rust? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so now let's install the brake band. Here's the new brake band. You remember how it goes? You want to do it? You want to sit right in here and do it? Sure. There you go. You sit right down there. Like this. Get it on there. Don't knock my camera over. All right, <laughs> let me show you. So go around the axle, go around the axle first, right here, where it's easy to put it on. And then we hook this on the back. See the back on? Yeah. And we kind of open it up like that. Is that the hole it goes in? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This will go up there like that. Oh, it's all tight in. Gotta take a little bit of bend out over there. Feels like it's too tight. Take a little bit of this bend out back here. Straighten it out a little bit. Put a little bend, put a little bend in it up here like that. 
We need to switch this over to disc brakes when we get a chance. What's a disc brake mean? Disc brakes, kind of like what's on mommy's car. Mm -hmm. yeah, they stop better. They don't go. Uh, it's on there. It's awful tight though. Let me look at this other one. Let's check this other one out. Okay. So what we had to do is, this is the old brake band, and the new one we had to form it to be the same shape so that it'll fit on there. So now, let's, <laughs> now let's try it. All right, try slipping it on there now. This side. Mm -hmm. Put this. There you go. There, just like there. that. And then that'll come up there like that. All right, so let's, let me put this nut on. Hand me that socket and ratchet, please. Both. And the wrench, yes. So, you hand me the socket and ratchet, and you put the wrench on right here. Like this? Other way. Okay. There you go. And what I'm going to do is put my finger like that so it don't jump off. Okay. Now, Finger. did I get you? Tighten. Now, here's what's going to happen. So, when I tighten this up, it's going to want to turn that way, and you got to lift up on it. Okay. Can you lift up on it? Like Put this. your hand on the other side. Put the palm of your hand on it. Like this. Turn your hand over. There you go. Now, I'm going to crank on it, okay? You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, that's pretty tight. Right now, yep. mm -hmm. and where's that tap? Where's that rag? Hang that rag over here. <laughs> I need my knee pads. Oh, hard on my knees. I'm gonna wipe this uh, pin off. As a matter of fact, we're gonna put this pin in the vise, and we're gonna clean it up, make it nice and shiny. Mm Let me pause this here. All right, so now we got the pin cleaned up pretty good. <sighs> so this is the, the brake pad, the the brake uh, linkage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll get out of here in a minute. Wanna? I don't know. Right. So I'm gonna put the pin in this way. Maybe. <laughs> it's got a little bit of pressure on it. A little, a little tight. Tell you what, we may need to do is form that on around there just a little bit. That or move. See, it's uh, it's coming up just a little bit short. We have to move this here. Whoops. Sorry about that. Let's see here. That's around there like yeah, that's that's locked there. You see that's uh you know what? We've what? got another adjustment on the pedal. I'd say we've adjusted it because the brake was worse. So what I need to do is there's another set of holes here on the pedal. We need to move it. So we need a seven sixteenths. Hey daddy. Huh? And we might have to move it like move it up because where my feet are shorter. We'll do that. All right, so here's a here's a seven sixteenths wrench. I'm gonna lay it up here. We need a seven sixteenths socket. Can you get me a seven sixteenths socket out of the kit? Uh -huh. Right here. This one. Okay. So what we're gonna have to do here, this uh, this brake pedal linkage, it's been moved back to the back hole, the back uh, position. So we're gonna take this bolt loose. And we're going to move it to this one. So that'll make this a little bit longer. See, we also got other adjustments here we could use. But I think just moving that up will be fine. So put your uh, 17, 16th uh, socket on there. And I'll put the wrench on here. Push the button. There you go. You going to run it? I guess. Just get it on there. All right. 
You might need to. Wait a minute. Something ain't uh, that's fitting. Is that not seven sixteenths? No, it must be three eighths. Hang on. Yeah. Why would that be metric? Hey, that makes sense. Is that seven sixteenths? No, that's half. Hold on. Huh. I grabbed the wrong one. This is seven sixteenths. It is seven sixteenths because that's quarter twenty. There. There you Sorry go. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. So, which you want to operate the the ratchet here? Let me get let me get the wrench. It's gonna be tight now. So you gotta go. You can get started. It started. Okay. All right. I got it now. Go that way. Yes. Go. There you go. I see it moving. Yeah, I feel it. Keep going until it comes off. And then we'll move the linkage down. There you go. This is funny when you say linkage. Linkage? Yeah. <laughs> you like the word linkage? All right, did it get loose? Uh, I think. Yeah, all I right, pull know. it off there. Let's see if it's finger tight now. Drop your ratchet. There you go. Now take, there you go. Back that off. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to pull this out. Watch this. Wiggle it out. All right, see where it's at? <laughs> see where it's at right here? Uh -huh. Look, I'm gonna move it up right here, which makes it just a little bit longer, and I'm gonna put it right back in the same hole there. Put this washer right back on. Now put your nut on. Which way? What, you, what did I tell you? Oh, side. well look at it. You can kind of look at it and see how it came off. See, it's got a flat side and a mm -hmm. crown side, or a rounded side, put the flat side again. Okay. And which way are you gonna turn it? Left and then left. Righty tighty. Remember, turn it right. Oh, you're going to back it up left. You're going to back it up till it falls in. That's right. Oh, no. <laughs> it's all right. Just work with it. You can use two hands if you need to. Back it up till the threads line up. My hand is holding it because I can't Well, lay your, lay your shoulder right against that bar. There you go. It's cold. But it's, okay. it's cold. Wait, the bar is cold. Well, you're all right. Let me see what you're doing. What are you doing? I want to see what you're doing. I can't even see what I'm doing. You're doing it. Can you see? Kind of, kind of <laughs> not. All right, you got it started? All right, let me check it. Let's set this back up. Let's see. All right, well, right, right about there, maybe. All right. Let's see, you got it started? Yeah, it started. Let me drop a little bit of penetrating oil on it. Okay. That way, Whoa, that way it turned a little easier. There we go. See how easy it turns now? Mm -hmm. Kind of clean them threads up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll hold the wrench. Remember, you got to switch the switch on your ratchet so it goes the other direction all right put your ratchet up like this get it on there all right now go ahead there you go now this is a shoulder bolt so we want to tighten it down to the shoulder and quit we don't want to crank it super tight we just want to tighten it down where it gets good and tight you getting tight yet kind of hold on now Gotta make sure your pedal still works. <laughs> I'd say that's good. Yeah. I'd say that's that's actually too tight. That may need to be replaced. We'll loosen that up just a little bit. There. That actually need that nut needs to be replaced. That needs to be a captive nut because that that is actually not a shoulder bolt after all. all right, that's good for now. Okay, so now let's wipe it off a bit. <laughs> I will. So let's go back to the back and see if our linkage is long enough now. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. Let's go back around to the back. <laughs> oofy, oofy, oofy. So now we're back around to the back. Hey, Daddy. Set your ratchet back up for nine sixteenths. 
or a half inch right here. Nine sixteenths. That's what this is. When did we start working? Today? Like, when did we start working on it the first time when we got it out? Oh, I don't know. Four or five weeks ago? No. Well, yeah, about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Push the button. Push the button, it'll come off. Now, put that socket. Yeah, there you go. That's fine. All right, now let me see if the pin will fit. Oh, yeah, now look. Now look, we got all kinds of. Oh, see, it'll yeah. actually overshoot it, which is what we want. I think I'm going to put the pin in this way so I can get to the cotter pin a little easier. Uh-oh. We'll going to have to have a washer on that. Washer, washer. Did that have a washer on it over there? Huh? It had a washer oh, on yeah. one side. Yeah, but that needs washer on this side too. Let me get a let me get a washer. Hang on. I went to YouTube and watched that actually. Okay, I got a washer now. Let's see uh let's see how that's gonna work out. There we go. So now that won't go through there. Might as well put a clean, fresh washer on. Yeah, this one's really All right, nice. then this cotter pin. Yeah, it's so, all right, this will hold it on there. Pins a little bent. There it goes. Hey, All right. Throw your leg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got what on it? White stuff where I don't know. I think that's good. It won't come out. Now we got to bend it over. If you can get a hold of it. Yep, there's a little little end. A little, that's all you need right there. See how that's bent over like that? Mm -hmm. So it can't come out. Okay. There you go. All right, you want to go up there and squeeze the pedal? Turn and you can squeeze it if you want. Let me get this set where we can see it here. I don't know if that gonna work. Alright, spin it. Other way. Let's go forward. Let's, let's simulate driving forward. You ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. Do you see how fast it stopped? Oh yeah. yeah. Looks like it's off center just a little bit though. Yeah. Like it's it's the way the it's a way the it's the way it's made. I tell you what would be nice is if we had a guide that came off the side here. Let me see if I can. All right. So this right here it moves back and forth. See when I push on the pedal, I'll spin it here. That ain't too bad. It's off center just a little. If if it had a if it had a, a guide a piece to come off here and kind of hold that we can look at that anyway so there you go so there's your brakes looks good so we did a little more work on it and I shot some uh, paint on it just to kind of see what's going to look like here I got to do more welding on the roll cage that we added uh, before we paint it and of course this piece on the back gonna make a bracket for it goes up there like that so it's coming together little by little I welded the pan in the bottom uh, fixed that and welded it all in it's got a good stance to it let me see if I can uh, get over here can't get back far enough uh, yeah it's got a good look to it
I need to finish working on this uh, roll cage I've added, uh, getting it braced up and welded in. And, and then Allison said this is her go-kart, so she wants to paint that roll cage teal. <laughs> and she wants to go ahead and repaint the wheels, uh, repaint, repaint them gold back to original. So it should be exciting. <laughs>